हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट वेल इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव एन इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द जी एस टी काउंसिल वट इज जी एस टी काउंसिल सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई बीन शोइंग द वन इम्पॉर्टेंट पिक्चर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जी एस टी काउंसिल एज ए सीन इन द पिक्चर ऑन द राइट साइड द सिटिंग द सेंग लाइक दैट राज्य राज्य मंत्री वित्त दैट इज भारत सरकार सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द केंद्रीय वित्त मंत्री बेसिकली वन इज फ्रॉम द स्टेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर एंड वन इज अ सेंट्रल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर इज आर सिटिंग ओवर इयर नॉट ओनली द वन स्टेट मिनिस्टर सिटिंग विद द सेंट्रल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अलॉन्ग विद द स्टेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर देर इज अ ट्वेंटी एट स्टेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स ओके आर आर अवेलेबल इन टू द जी एस टी काउंसिल्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग अ टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू बी अ स्टार्ट गिव द ब्रीफ एग्जाम ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द जी एस टी काउंसिल वॉट इज जी एस टी काउंसिल सो हियर इज द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द जी एस टी काउंसिल कंस्टिट्यूशन टॉकिंग अबाउट द काउंसिल मेम्बर्स टॉकिंग अबाउट द कोरम डिस्कशन मेकिंग एट ऑल सो ओवर हियर सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड कंस्टिट्यूशन ऑफ द जी एस टी काउंसिल इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द पॉइंट नंबर वन जी एस टी काउंसिल Uh, constitutions the so gst council has been established under article 279a of the constitution of india means my dear student gst council ka constitution establish hua hai article 279a ke under of the constitutions of india the second point gst council is also known as federal constitutional body the most important point of the gst council constitution is the gst council is also known as federal constitutional body the third the president shall constitute gst council the most important point the president of gst council constitute what they constitute gst council okay within 60 days from the date of commencement of 101st constitution amendment act 2016 means my dear student when the gst going to be uh, introduced in our india there is a 101st constitution amendment happen in 2016 and therefore they called 101st constitution amendment act 2016 and and from that date of commencement within a 60 days your gst council has to be a uh, establish so these are the basic three points in respect of the constitution of gst council i hope so that the four point number 1 of the constitution of gst council has been clear to you i move for the second point sir how many members of the gst council see my dear student uh, i give the detail break up uh, of the members of the gst council so over here start with the first union finance minister as a chairperson union minister of state in charge of the revenue and finance as a member as the member counted for the one state finance minister nominated by the state government means i'm talking about the maharashtra state goa state gujarat states uh, haryana chandigarh there is a total 31 members from the e state of uh, e state that is the state finance minister nominated by the e state government as a member 31 so one union finance minister one union minister of state in charge of the revenue and finance department and 31 as a state finance minister from 31 different states to be accounted as the member of gst council and therefore my dear student total number of gst council member is 33 so point number second i hope so that is clear so members of the gst council has been a constitute the three important aspect the first as a chairperson union finance ministers as a member union minister of state in charge and third as a 31 state finance ministers from this 31 different states total number of members in a gst council stand for the 33 next sir who is the vice chairperson because over here in the point number second i discuss the chairperson of the gst council so chairperson of the gst council is union finance minister sir then who is the vice chairperson the vice chairperson state finance ministers elected by the all the 31 state finance ministers among them uh, here are the detail break up and here are the detail uh, constitutions of the gst council so as i stated over here are under the article 279 a of the indian constitution of indian constitution of india has been published uh, about the gst council 
Union Finance Minister is the chairperson of the GST Council. The point number one over here clear. It is also called as the federal body of the constitu constituted by the president on 15 September 2016. The date is very important. And who constituted this GST Council? The president on 15 September 2016. Name as the GST Council. The third and the most important weightage. Weightage required means whenever GST Council conduct their meeting. The weightage should be from the central one third weightage one third member should be a present for the GST council meeting and for the state purpose two third weightage that means the two third uh, persons are to be a present for the uh, GST council meetings. Further I move for the composition of the GST council. If I am talking about the compositions of the GST council union finance minister as a chairperson because I discussed earlier over here. So this is the point number second members of the GST council you can write this point as it is under the composition of the GST council over here one union finance minister one union minister of state in charge and 31 state finance ministers. So there is a breakup of 33 GST council members under the composition of GST council. Fourth fifth point I move for the quorum. So quorum here the half of the total member of GST council means my dear student uh, there is a 33 members included in the uh, are the part of the GST council and only the 10 members are appeared or are available for the meeting then that GST council meeting would not be happen because the quorum should be a half of the total members of the GST council should be available. I hope so that this point is very much clear to all that means of the 33 out of 33 16 members or 17 members you can call 17 members need to be a presented for to be a conducting GST council meeting. So this quorum is really important and is to be really noted. Next my dear student where is the headquarter of the GST council? The GST council headquarter established in Delhi. Uh, next point a uh, decision decision taken by the majority means uh, say for example if any order if any issuance if any circular has been a published uh, into the meeting during the meeting my dear student and the 10 people are agreed with that and the rest of the 23 people said like that ki i disagree with that then the decision should be a, a swing with the disagree because the majority other part of that uh, point has decided that ki they don't agree with that point so that is the decision taken by the on the majority basis at least three fourth of the total members presented to be uh, voted means my dear student voting system can be happen in the GST council because as if there is a 33 members in the GST council so therefore my dear student at least three fourth of the total members presented and they are voted and accordingly decision has been uh, taken during the uh, during the GST council meeting next and the last part of that GST council my dear student powers and function of GST council means which kind of power held by the basically hold by the GST council and which kind of functions to be performed by the GST council has been mentioned over here any kind of taxes says surcharges subsum under the GST means uh, earlier there is a plenty of indirect tax prevalent to the market means before the introduction of the GST the GST was introduced on the 1st July 2017 and before that various indirect taxes prevalent to the market. I am talking about the excise duty. Excise duty are charged on the manufacturing of the goods. Then service tax for the providing and rendering the services. Then a custom duty and the last one my dear student uh, central sales tax and VAT. CST basically uh, stand for the central sales tax which is applicable when goods and services are moved from one state to another state then CST indirect tax will be applicable prior to before to 1st April 2017 and the VAT value added tax should be uh, applied in the Maharashtra when when we supply goods from the Mumbai to Thane yeah Mumbai to Navi Mumbai then VAT to be applicable so all these are indirect tax subsumed by the GST council and one nation one tax should be prevailed from 1st July 2017 and called as a GST so these are the first function performed by the GST council they subsum all indirect taxes sales surcharges and they committed one tax for the one nation known as a goods and service tax 
सेकेंड फंक्शन गुड्स और सर्विस सर्विसेस सबसम्ड अंडर द जी एस टी वेरियस गुड्स एंड वेरियस सर्विसेस एज बिन कैटेगराइज जीरो पर्सन गुड्स रेट ऑफ टैक्स फाइव परसेंट रेट ऑफ टैक्स ट्वेल्व परसेंट रेट ऑफ टैक्स एटीन परसेंट रेट ऑफ टैक्स एंड ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट रेट ऑफ टैक्स गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस हैज बिन क्लासीफाइड बाई द जी एस टी काउंसिल स्पेशल रेट्स और रेट्स फॉर द स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड इन जी एस टी येस जी एस टी काउंसिल हैज द पावर टू प्रोवाइड द स्पेशल रेट्स आर द स्पेशल रेट ऑफ टैक्स फॉर द under the gst third fourth threshold limit for the gst gst council has the power to set the threshold limit to collecting uh, for the gst and the last one any other matters as may be prescribed my dear student not only these functions functions performed by the gst on time to time on time to time according to the budget the lot of things are done under the gst council so this is all about my dear student gst council so I hope so that this concept is very much clear to this my video to all of you my dear student thank you so much